Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 41. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Okay, so we are here. We're going to take part in the Class S Championship. Uh, we've got the Koenigsegg and um, for anyone who's watched TikTok before, um, I've basically turned this Koenigsegg into the Boris car, so this is going to be quite fun. We're starting off with the Sakuba circuit, moving on to New York, Laguna Seca, uh, then back to New York again, then Tokyo circuit, Road Atlanta, and then finishing off at the Nürburgring. Let's get cracking. All right, so we are here around the Sakuba circuit at the moment. Um, fun times. And this is what I've done to the car. This is the <laughs> Boris mobile. Oh, it looks horrendous on so many levels. I've messed up the lines at the back, but I don't care. <laughs> it will stay. Whoa! This thing's got some speed, by the way. Holy crap. At least it's got the engine noise, though. I can actually hear the car. So, props. Bum, bum, miram, bum, bum. Right, let's see how quick this gets down the straight. Oh my god, it's a bitch. What is up? How are you today, Fallen? Bum, 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 bum. Whoa, slip and slide. Slidey time. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. This car is horrendous, I will admit. But hey, we gotta give uh, Boris a good send off. So, I. Well, obviously, I would have rather the situation not have come up in the first place, but. Yeah, I think it was handled all right. But yeah, we should we should all be good. Whoa! There we go. All sorted. I've just realized this is 12 laps. That's crazy. Bum, 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 bum. The fact that this car is in this game. But, um. Ah, awesome, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking it was a good idea, actually. I think you should set the channels, though, um, in the server. There's a bot called Auto Announcer that would do it anyways, but set the channel as, like, an announcement channel so people can put it in their own Discord servers as well. Just adds a little bit of um, advertisement, advertisability. I don't know what you want to call it. But it means that people can put it in their own Discord servers as well. It's a worthwhile shot. Surprised that this car pulls away so well in third gear. I like the seg all bleated up. Oh, what? Russian? Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> He's bodies! Amp, 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 amp. Do you know what? After this one, we're putting Russian music on. I, I don't... I don't care. <laughs> Read the thing that you sent. Someone. Hi, you are Swedish. You must not be Swedes. Me. Do you think I fuck care? <laughs> Do you think I fuck care? <laughs> oh. That's exactly how I imagine you reading that, though. Whoa! 
Yeah, so the voice channels obviously need changing. Um, the only thing is, with the announcing one, you would need to have a bot that would automatically do it for you. Otherwise, you would have to manually go in and uh, announce every single one. So, it depends what you want to do. If it's automatic, I would recommend making that a private channel. But I know that that's supposed to be a public um, text channel anyway. So, I don't know. Yeah, there's no lag for uh, everyone else, which is uh, kind of strange. My PC's been playing up a little bit lately, though, so I need a new CPU. I'm going to be honest. I think it's too slow for the demanding tasks that I'm giving it. It's a good bit of kit. But again, I'm asking too much of it. And it's not giving me enough. <laughs> I want more, motherfucker. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. So I got 3600, so that's a 6 core, 12 thread CPU. Yeah, I need AMD because AMD is a better multitasking CPU, so. Yeah, low latency mode sometimes does have a few bugs. And obviously, I have enabled low latency mode, which is fine. 95% of the time. The other 5% of the time, it's just unwatchable and you have to turn it off. So... Bum 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 Oh my god this is crazy Ease bodies <laughs> I run an overclocked Raspberry Pi. Imagine that. Intel CPUs are a pain in the ass, I will admit. They're not as good as they used to be. Intel is lacking behind. But Intel is good for workstations and stuff like that. Like your cheaper alternatives. Because AMD doesn't do very good cheap alternatives. So like laptops and stuff. Because they're just not common in laptops. So when it comes to like work and needing a portable laptop, you're pr pretty much stuck with Intel at the moment. Holy crap, Knuckles. This thing is bloody fast. Um, Intel Core i7. i7 is not too bad. I think it's a 6 core processor in it. The only thing I find extremely confusing is the fact that Intel aren't going down the traditional core route. They're now making efficiency and like performance cores and all that stuff, which is kind of like, what?
Jesus. There we go. Not bad. I probably could have done with making the stripes a tiny bit wider. But it's what it is. We got one more lap. <laughs> I'm looking at getting a Ryzen 9. Um, one of the older generations, though, the 3000 series. Because there is one on there. 12 core processor for about 300 quid. Which is not too expensive for a massive upgrade like that. That isn't too bad. But I don't need it yet. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to just withstand this PC for as long as I can. And in a year's time, I might buy um, a cheaper graphics card, but buy more p powerful parts. Put all the powerful parts in that PC. So the new, a new CPU, new motherboard, new RAM, everything. Um, oh, not bad. 1048. Save that replay. Yeah, put all the new RAM, everything in that in there. And then just put an, all the old parts in another case with an old graphics card. And I got a second PC. We're here around New York again in the Boris Mobile. <laughs> Number 69. <laughs> this is actually a good track to be on because this car is speedy. So we'll actually get to see how fast this can actually go. If you guys haven't already, over on Twitch, feel free to uh, put exclamation mark YT in the chat and you'll get a link to my YouTube, which is uh, the other place where I'm posting this content. Thank you very much, Aaron. Aaron has been on point every time I've done that. <laughs> hey, not bad. Not bad, Fallen. So, uh, what's your plan when it comes to uh, team stuff? Kind of curious. Meow! Come on, Boris Carr. I forgot to put the Russian music on. We'll put the Russian music on after this race, as long as I remember. I like how this car can get up to 60 miles an hour in one gear. Um. Come on, round you go. Round you go. There we go. Oh, contact. Not bad. There we go. That seg has a fat ass. It does have a fat ass. Such a wide boy, though. Such a wide car. It's crazy. Slow down, slow down. Ah, oh, you pig. No! I scratched Boris! <laughs>
Not bad. This thing has killer acceleration and killer braking. Are you sure you want to fight me? I am Viking. I don't even know what the fuck that was supposed to be, but we'll go with it. Just look how quick that speedo is going up. And then you brake and... Meow, meow, meow. I'll lose this so much speed, it's unreal. Give me a lot of clips today. <laughs> Fair enough. Just gotta make sure you get that one clip with, with at least 10, 15 views so that it gets featured on that B-Row right back screen. Oh, fair enough. That's actually quite a good way of running it. It's fairly similar to how we ran it, but uh, we didn't give people a choice, basically. We just gave them a team, and if they wanted to change, they could ask for a change, but they only got one chance to change. Oh, balls! Bunk! Oh, that's not good. But, do you know what? We've got enough gap anyways. We could probably take a pit stop. We genuinely have enough of a gap. I could take a pit stop and repair my car. Yo, Sinsu, what is up? Welcome. Let's go repair it. <laughs> I can't believe we absolutely slammed the wall like that, though. Pendulum Slam is such a good song, by the way. Don't come at me. It's fucking brilliant. Ba na 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 bum bum. Oh, look, they just caught up. I had enough of a distance that I could take that pit stop. Tried to speak like a Viking. I know. I did a good job. So, we had pla- we did a shuffle every, like, three months, so, yeah. Could be worth shuffling the team every three months. That's a good good idea. We only ever did one shuffle anyways, but, yeah. I think it would be a good idea. But, again, thoughts, not <laughs> actual do it. Thoughts, not instructions. <laughs> -na 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 Mechanics never even touched up on the paint crap pit crew. Yeah, I know. Supposed to change your bodywork and everything. That's the one thing with Forza is no matter how many times you pit, your bodywork never gets repaired. In none of the Forza games. None of the Forza games even have a pit crew. That's what I find funny because they put so much effort in animating a pit crew for most of their like, trailers, and then there's never a pit crew in the actual game. <laughs> Bonnet palm. Oh, shit. Yeah, the front of my car's absolutely wrecked. Is that the actual front lifting up? Oh my god, it is. The front is lifted up. That's fucking horrendous. How is that even possible? Yeah, we'll both have benefits and downsides, but I think it keeps the majority of people happy. Because it, it means that everyone gets a new experience and stuff like that. Um, we obviously didn't do it like a forced shuffle. It was obviously just everyone loses their team and you get to pick again. 
basically. So people could pick the same team if they wanted to. But obviously if a team filled up, then you would get put on a, like a second choice or a third choice. Something like that. That's how we did it. Not bad. Except for the fact I crashed, but we'll, we'll gloss over that, okay? I really don't care. We are driving around Laguna Seca with a bloody Russian hard bass shit. <laughs> Suka bleat. This is the Boris Mobile. We have to listen to music from Boris himself. I don't think Boris actually made this song, but... Oh, well. <laughs> Not this one exactly. Oh my god, it's so hot in here. Suka, 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 bleat. Hey, I like it. Hey. Yeah, that's fair enough. It's going on. Oh my god, that scared the living fuck out of me. The fucking crow or something just flew outside my window. And then just made the loudest ass noise ever. <laughs> Fuck off. Stupid birds. I love how I'm having to go over the pit line just to get that corner done. But luckily this game doesn't care about that pit line because it technically isn't a pit line. According to this. Whoa! I lost control. To Gran Turismo not teach you anything, jump the corkscrew. Ah, I might do. Oh, I've just seen what's in first place. I know exactly what that car is. This is Boris. All rise for hard bass. Never fear. Boris is here. This is the soundtrack of this car. Whoa, you absolute knob cheese. Potenci bariki, always moving, never doubt. Such is life with slaps around. <laughs> I know the lyrics to this song. Every single word. Pompard bass. I got steering damage as well. It didn't show much, but there definitely is quite a bit of steering damage here. King. Get out of the way, Chevy! I love that Chevrolet, but I've only ever seen it in two video games. This one and Test Drive Unlimited 1. It might be in uh, uh, Motorsport 2. Because I don't think much of the car list changed from Motorsport 1 to Motorsport 2. I'm not 100% sure. I think it just added new new cars from like 2006 and shit like that. When I fill my days with the mayonnaise. I've only got half the braking power because I've only got half of my brake lights. That's totally how it works. Whoa! Come on, we got this. So much damage to the rear of my car, by the way. Um, I don't know what the car actually is called. I know it's a Chevrolet, though. It is a Chevrolet concept. It never became a real thing. I don't know whether it's called the Concept 1. 
I think the concept one was a Mercedes thing. I'm not 100% sure. How's your TDU2 still broken? I think you need to reinstall completely because I think somewhere along the line your software is not installed correctly. Because there's no way it's still broken. So, you should delete it, reinstall it. <laughs> yes, your PC is bipolar. <laughs> Can't make up its mind. This is brilliant. We're driving around an American track in a Swedish car. With a paint job inspired by an English car. Oh, sorry. A, a paint job made by an English man that was put on a Japanese car listening to Russian music. <laughs> um, this, this, this is a race. This is a race for the uh, history books. <laughs> Try to download a new CPU. Sounds like a good plan. Is your computer running slow? Just download this new CPU. It automatically installs into the socket with pre applied thermal paste. <laughs> Imagine if you can download PC parts. I mean, you could technically download a PC case. Because a case is just the plastic bit, so... Right, we've got this lap and the next lap to go. I can feel a nosebleed coming on. Ever feel where your nose feels extremely tender? And it feels like something's about to just start rushing out of it. Yeah, that's what it feels like right now. So I'm going to have to be careful on stream. Because I can't have myself looking like Satan spawning out of my nose. Because I'll get banned. I'll be like, oh, blood and violence. You can't have that on stream. Oh, well. I mean, to be honest, I'll, I'll be honest with you. You're not supposed to see your thermal paste once you've used it. Because it's supposed to stay on your CPU. And stay there. Not move. And when you remove it, that's the only other time that you will see your thermal paste. So, that seems pretty normal since... <laughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah, I know what you mean. Dun dun dun. Vodka, no limit. Watching me on partner hub. I like Maria and Juan. Honestly, this is such a questionable song, and I have no clue what it says. <laughs> I brush my teeth with thermal paste. I am one with the computer.
No, his body just manages to regulate temperature a lot better. No. <laughs> Sod sunburn. Just cruise our way to the finish line. Bonk! 10 minutes, 7 seconds. Not bad, 39 grand. Let's move to the next one. Okay, back to New York again. Woohoo! Oh, Sinsu is online. Cheers for that one. <laughs> Everyone deserves one chance. <laughs> Everyone deserves a chance, but some people abuse that chance quite often. That's why I've got a lot, quite a few people banned at the moment. Because uh, they are not very nice people. <laughs> Agreed. Oh my god, I went into reverse by accident. Oz! Ah, oh, you've scratched my car, you prick. Get out. Get out of here. You absolute knob cheese. Oh my god, it's got like red brake discs when you're slamming on the brakes. How cool is that? Oh, toasty. Yeah, yeah. Not too bad so far. <laughs> I still find this fucking hilarious. I love this Russian hard bass music. It's fucking amazing. It just slaps. Every single song just slaps. So we've managed to hit 250 kilometers an hour before the start line even. I should be able to send it under pics and videos, I think. I think there's a channel there. I will sort it out in just a moment once I finish this race. Yeah, yeah. Not too bad, actually. So long without you, 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 you. Alex, are you still in my chat? I don't know if you are or not. I think you started streaming earlier, didn't you? So, probably not.
Bum, 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 If you guys do want to help the channel, though, uh, feel free to share the content out. Either share the YouTube video if you're watching on YouTube or if you're watching on Twitch. Ah, I've hit the wall. If you're watching on Twitch, feel free to share the link. Every little bit of support is greatly appreciated. Extremely hot in here. I think I am gonna have to grab a fan To have for a short period of time just to cool down. I don't even know why it's so hot I think it's just the fact that there's no breeze whatsoever in the UK at the moment I am missing a convo apparently between Alex and his rich friend I'm not really missing anything, am I? Meow. Easy cat cat. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Bonk. Uh, I've hit the hit the wall again. Yo, crosshairs, what's up? Welcome. How you doing, my man? How you been? Hopefully you're having a good day. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to have to grab a fan after this. It's fucking warm. I am roasting. And dying. And sweating. And I'm going to die of the heat. Release date September 22. Yeah, what about it? Oh, I'm so fucking excited for it. Hail dented the roof of your car. Jesus Christ. Was that hail or fucking... Ice balls? Like, tennis balls the size of fucking ice. Wait, no. Ice balls the size of tennis balls. That's what I meant to say. How the fuck does hail dent someone's roof? Unless they are fucking massive. What is the 22nd of September? Am I missing something? Yeah, Sir Fallen is hiding in the shadows. Uh, yeah, you can do. Um, I won't be able to watch it yet, though. Because I am recording some YouTube content. <laughs> so, excess project. Oh, you're just telling me the release date. Yeah, I, I knew the release date. I thought it was like the day was a special thing or something. <laughs> That's why I was a little bit confused. Like, what's, what does the date mean? But yeah, that probably makes sense. There we go. 853. Not too bad. I uh, will take it. 39 grand. Woohoo! Next race, let's go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.